And in that day of redemption, there's going to be a redemption for the whole world. All 70 nations, 70 branches of that tree of humankind will all march together toward Yerushalayim to bow to Hashem Itbarach, to the Creator, in that holy place that He Himself chose for it to be His own house. You understand? There is no stupid argument on the Temple Mount between Israelis and Palestinians. It's all a joke. In the day of redemption, the house of Hashem will stand there. Not the house of the Palestinians or the house of the Jews. The Temple will be built by Hashem. People that today are trying to control and to possess the Temple Mount are not us. We are waiting for the redemption to take place. We know the truth about the Temple Mount. We know exactly what is the, the, the specific point, location, that Hashem, the Maker of the world, created the world from. We know the meaning of the stone that is located over there. And even if different nations took our books before piling them and making huge fires and burning holy Jewish books, before all of that, took some copies and translated them to their languages. And now they think they know the truth by their twisted and bent translations. Unfortunately, I must tell you humbly, you're very far from the truth. And you still have a lot to learn. And it doesn't make us better than you in any way. And if you want to think that I'm saying anything with arrogance or with any kind of... of of, of pride, so only days will show the truth. My students, they know me, and I know myself. The Temple Mount is the mountain for the Temple of the Maker of the Universe. You can call Him in any way you want. The truth will be that that house in that day will be called the house of prayer to all nations. And everyone will come and pray there. Today, if you want to go and pray in Al-Aqsa Mosque, you cannot do that. This is not a simple thing. Muslims are not so fast to allow people to go and pray. We, Jewish people, we don't have the permission from heaven to build the third temple. We're waiting for him to build his own house, a house that will be made out of fire and tears. Fire from heavens and tears from our hearts. This is how the temple, the eternal temple will be built from tears and fire from the sky. And we're waiting for that day. And into that temple, all people that are good people, all precious souls from all 70 nations will come together, united and attached in humility to bow in front of God, in front of Hashem, Eloke Israel, the God that chose the people of Israel to shine His light upon them, for them to reflect that light to the whole wide world, for everyone to know Him and for everyone to come closer and closer to Him.